Adjective verbs. Okay, so German has a handful of verbs that after you use them, you know, normally we would use the accusative case. Well, these take um, the dative case after just this handful of verbs. There's a couple of more. I've just got five of them here, but they're not too many of them. Helfen, to give help to. Gratulieren, to congratulate or to give congrats to. Danken, to thank or to give thanks to. Gefallen, to be pleasing to. Gehören, to belong to. So you can see that they sort of have the word to implied in them, and we often think of the dative case as the to the case, as in giving something to someone or showing something to someone. Okay, so I've got your reminder up here. Dative case, masculine, neuter gets M, feminine, er, plural, N. Okay, so I've got some sentences here, and the first thing you're going to need to do is determine whether or not the verb is a dated verb. So I'm going to suggest that we start by looking at the verb. Helfen, kauft, dankt, and gratuliert. We have a past tense on this last one. Okay, so with the first one we have helfen. Helfen is one of our dated verbs, so we know we're using a dative case here. Um, okay, so the word after that I'm looking at is Großmutter. Großmutter is feminine. Feminine bekommt ein er im Dativ. So unsere. Wir helfen unserer Großmutter am Freitag. Okay, Nummer zwei. Kauft. To buy. All right, that's not a dative verb. That's just a plain old normal verb. We're going to go with accusative case. Remember, accusative gets an N in masculine. And that's really the only thing we have to worry about. Wagen is masculine. So we're going to put that N there. Er kauft einen Wagen. Nummer drei, das Kind dankt. Uh, the child is thanking um, his teacher. Danken is a dative verb, so we're going to use the dative case. Um, Lehrer is masculine, so we're going to put an M right there. Er dankt seinem Lehrer. Nummer vier, we have habe gratuliert. Has congratulated, or have congratulated, or just congratulated. That is a dative verb, so once again we're going to use the dative case. Vater is masculine. So I go up here to go up here to masculine M, meine M. So whenever you use these dative verbs, just remember that the thing that comes after has got to be in the dative case. If it's not one of these, use the accusative. Okay, that's it for now. Tschüss.